Hello everyone, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to run the MSX emulator on RetroArch. Before I do that, I'll be talking about a, the background of the MSX, MSX computer system. So the MSX wasn't a, um, it wasn't a, it wasn't like a computer manufacturer or anything like that. Not like NEC or IBM or Hewlett Packard or anything like that, or a Commodore 64 or Apple. It was, what it was, was it was basically a, um, it was an operating system that was supposed to be used across different computers that use the same type of uh, hardware. So back in 19, the early 1980s, ASCII and uh, Microsoft teamed up to create a uh, computer platform. So Microsoft provided this operating system for the MSX project and I guess ASCII provided the hardware part of it. So this hard, the hardware part was licensed out to different companies. Like um, it was a variety of different companies, uh, like National, Sony, Pioneer, Panasonic, Sh Samsung, Sharp, Philips, Canon, Yamaha, Toshiba, Mitsubishi, Sanyo, JVC, and a lot of manufacturers produced the MSX computer with their own brand on it. So this one is a Sony brand. We have different brands. We have, um, this is a national brand. This is a Spectra video. This is a Philips model MSX. This is a Sony, the one that you saw. This is a this is Canon's version of MSX. We have so many different different models, and what all these have in common is is is, a, is an operating system, which is based on Microsoft. Basically, a operating system Microsoft created for MSX. Basically, so that's what they have in common. It's kind of like the IBM. PC market from the 1980s to 1990s where you had a myriad of manufacturers like um, Hewlett Packard, Compaq, AST, Packard Bell, Cumulus, Leading Edge, Leading Technology, and so many others that were producing computers for the IBM clone market. But they all used, they ha all had one thing in common. They all used um, Microsoft DOS, like in the 1980s. And in the 1990s, they used uh, Microsoft Windows 3.x or 3.1 or whatever, 3.11. And later they used Microsoft um, Windows uh, 95 and 98. But you had, but these were produced by different manufacturers, and you had small shops building computers as well, you know. So the competition for the hardware was fierce, but they all had to use Microsoft's operating system to use their computers, basically. So it was kind of, the MSX was kind of like, the idea behind MSX was like that, basically. Kind of like creating a standard and and as we got to the 1990s, we did have a standard. We had a, for sound uh, audio cards, it would be the Sound Blaster or something. And for uh, video, it would be VGA or Super VGA. So we had some kind of hardware standard, but different manufacturers producing peripherals, uh, modules, and, and, and components for computers basically so that was the idea behind msx um so when you want to to get msx to run for retroarch you need a couple of things you, you'll need the bios for it 
And these are the BIOS files you'll need. Um, I did find the BIOSes for it. Let me see. The only complete set of files that I found for the BIOS pack was was here. This has pretty much all of them. You could download that and then you could put the BIOS files into the BIOS folder and RetroArch. So let me go here to RetroArch. Okay, so my BIOS files are here. So you just put them in the systems folder, just like that. Get it in there. I already got them in there. So, and it that website pointed out that you have to get it exactly, exa you need to get these exact files to get it to run. So everything that is required, just put it into the systems folder. You don't have to make a directory for it. And as for the games, you can get them on my abandonware. Just go to platforms, go to MSX. You could download them here. You don't have to unzip the files to run them or anything like that. They should just run. Now let's take a look at that BIOS pack. Okay, we have all the MSX files in here. You could just dump everything in here and dump it into your retro arc systems folder and that should that should give you all the MSX BIOS files and everything else. And as for the games you could find more on retro on um, archive.org. Let's put Microsoft. Okay, here we have it. You could download it here. You could also use MSX2, both of them will work. All the games for here, just download both and unzip it and just put it into your ROM or a game directory. So for me, Put all my MSX games in here. So the MSX didn't come with a floppy drive or anything like that. So most of the games ran with cartridges, ROM cartridges, as you can see. So there's no need to change disks or anything like that. So now let me run. RetroArch. So I put all the BIOS files in there, so I should be able to run it. Okay, now I'm going to run it. So first you want to do is load core. Go to download a core. You want to go to Microsoft MSX. That's the one that you want. 
Here it is, just get that. I already downloaded mine. And just go to load con. What we want to do is just go to import, go to scan directory, go to where you put all your games for an MSX. This is where I put mine, scan folder. This could take a little bit of time. The more files you have, the longer it will take, basically. You don't have to unzip this like um, like DOS games, for example. ROMs are a lot easier to run than uh, actual computer files, which are stored on floppy disks and stuff like that. Because on computers, it's more specific. You'd have to run some kind of thing like .exe or .com or .bat. So, okay, that's it for that. So let me go back. I also have... I want to scan one more folder. The MSX2 as well. Scan this directory. Okay, both are done. So now I could run the games from here instead of going to load content and search out each individual one which is very laborious okay let's run 1942 try that out so if you have all your controls configured the buttons are just a and b Okay, so if you want to get out, it's F2. If you want to use scroll lock, it's this. It says game focus. I'm going to press scroll lock again to get out of it. So I'm going to press F1 to go back here to close this. The scroll lock is useful when you want to use the keyboard and you don't want to use the retro arc keys. That's what you use scroll lock for. So I'm going to close that. So let's run another game. So I have so many games in here. What I want to do is I want to search. So press the Y button here. Type in a game, Bomber. Let's see. Oh, it's okay. okay, we got one here. Bomber Man. Let's try this. So search is an option. A feature you could use in um, RetroArch to find stuff, especially when you have a lot of files. I have to say the scrolling is a lot better in a um, this emulator versus the NEC PC 88. Okay, that's enough. So to get out, it's F1. Let's go see what's in options. Got MSX mode. I guess that's kind of like the BIOS, the one that you want to use. I guess 2 is fine. I didn't really change anything here, just left everything default. You can change the video mode to NTSC to PAL if you want, or dynamic.
I didn't really change anything here. I just left everything the way it was. So that's how you run games for this. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, you could leave them in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.